what we're going to be looking at here is the straight line depreciation method. So let's go look at our problem here. We've purchased some equipment here. A purchase cost of $304,000. Service life here of eight years. Estimated salvage value of $16,000. And we purchased it here on 10-1 of year 20x1 here. So we have to allocate our depreciation here for the first year, which is a partial period here. And when we do this uh, depreciation allocation here, it becomes a two-step process. And with our uh, straight line method, it's pretty simple here. So we uh, to determine our depreciation charge, and it's going to be a ch constant charge each year here, we simply take our cost here, less the salvage value, and divide it by the estimated service life. So for our example here, our cost was 304000 uh, minus the salvage value of 16000 divided by eight years, and we're going to come up with a depreciation charge here at $36,000 per year. So let's go look at how uh, we set up our depreciation schedule here. So again, we're basing this here on our physical fiscal year of 1-1 through December 31st here, or January through December here. So our depreciation expense, well, we start out with our cost here of $304,000. And then for year one here, our depreciation expense is $36,000. And that would be the same here through years one through year eight. We have a constant depreci depreciation expense. So simply to, we determine our book value here at the end of each year, simply take our beginning balance in this case here, uh, beginning of the year here, uh, year one here was $304,000 less our depreciation expense of $36,000. We come up with our book value or carrying amount here here at $268,000. And just proceed on down here. You can just taking our depreciation expense here less uh, from the beginning carrying value or book value gives us our new book value here at the end of the year. And as we move down here on year eight here, you can see we end up with $16,000. That's the estimated salvage value we have here. Okay, now let's look at our partial partial period depreciation. Let's move down here. Now we purchased this uh, asset or this piece of equipment here on 10-1 of 20x1. So we've, uh, when you're, we're allocating this partial period here, we have to, uh, this is going to be our date here for our allocation each year here at 10-1. Remember our fiscal per par period here works from January 1st through December, but for our purchase here, it we look from 10-1 of, let's say, a 20x1 through 10-1 here of 20x2 here, and we proceed on that way for all our years here that we're depreciating it. Now, with our straight line depreciation, there's really no problem here, but because you can, we'll just go through it here. So uh, what we have here are, um, for the 20x1 here, uh, we have three months, October, November, and December here. So three divided by 12 months gives us 25% allocation of our uh, depreciation here for 20x1. And then the remaining amount here based on this 10-1 uh, purchase date here would be nine months here. And nine here divided by 12 or 75 percent here. Okay, so for our depreciation charge here, uh, we'll go through a simple table here, but there's the only really thing you have to worry about here is your first year's depreciation and the the amount you would have it here. So our depreciation here, year one, we'll just go through here as year one through three, and this would be the depreciation charge based on our fiscal year here, and it's constant amount here, $36,000 uh, for for per depreciation per year, and that's for a full year here. So for 20x1 here, well, we take the part that we deter the 25% here that we determined here for 20x1 times the depreciation uh, for the year here, 36,000 gives us $9,000 here. And then for 20x2 here, uh, well, you're going to see here that it it's going to be this ends up with 36,000, a constant amount each year for each of the succeeding years, 20x2, 20x3, 20x4. But just technically here, we would take 75% here of the $36,000 depreciation. We come up with $27,000. And then for um, the next depreciation period here from 10-1, uh, 20x2 uh, here through 20x3, again, just simply 25% times our 
$36,000 depreciation per year, we come up with $9,000. And then for 20x3, the portion here would be 75% here times 36,000 would come up with $27,000. Now you might, uh, I'm just going through this here to demonstrate here that when you use the straight line depreciation, the only thing you really have to worry about here is the portion that you assign here for the first year. So uh, just totaling up our depreciations here uh, for 20x1, all we had was that $9,000 amount here. For 20x2, we're going to come up with $36,000. 20x3, you total your amounts here. That's uh, purport proportioned out here, you're going to get $36,000. So it just continues on here. Constant amount here uh, with the straight line depreciation. So the partial period depreciation allocation is a simple matter. As long as you take care of your uh, first year here and assign it properly on your first year. Otherwise, that's about it. So there's no big revelations here. Let's go back up here and look at it again. No big uh, problem here with the straight line method. It's simply your cost here, your, what you have to do is determine your depreciation, depreciation charge, and it's a constant amount here. Simply the cost less your salvage value divided by your estimated life. That gives you your depreciation charge that you would use each year here. And that, that's it for a straight line depreciation. Very simple.